right, uh, let's talk about being a dialysis tech, uh, or I don't know what else you'd call it, a uh, dialysis PCA maybe. Uh, I was never a dialysis tech. Uh, I was a dialysis nurse. I did it for like seven months. And I will say right off the bat, dialysis is something that you will either love or hate. And I did not enjoy it. I uh, did not enjoy my time there. Uh, I learned a lot. I learned that may be the biggest learning curve I think I've ever had as a nurse was dialysis. Uh, you know, I just, there's just so much to learn, so much to know, so many lab values. Uh, just, you know, your kidneys do, do a lot more than what you actually think they do. Uh, and as a dialysis tech, you're actually going to kind of learn a lot of that. You're going to learn a lot of the labs and why you draw them. Um, because a lot of the techs will actually draw the labs, uh, believe it or not. Uh, so let's let's start off with saying uh, it's a fairly well-paying job for what it is. Uh, you're not going to be rich as a dialysis tech. However, you can get into being a dialysis tech uh, simply with a high school diploma. It's not one that you need to really have any sort of um, certification to do initially. Uh, now here in North Carolina, you can only work without a certification for, I believe it's 18 months. Uh, it may be different in other states. Um, basically your training uh, for your position for 18 months and then uh, it changes after that, uh, you know, in the world of dialysis. And so what you do is you do your 18 months and then you go get your certification. Uh, and basically there's no classes you take a lot of uh, tests and a lot of case studies and uh, things like that but no actual classes so you know on the job training basically uh, so you'll do all that but uh, dialysis is a job to where you're either working all out no stop I'll go or everything's flowing good and there's not a whole lot to do. There's really no middle ground in this, uh, in dialysis. Um, you know, it's either all out all the time or, uh, you know, there's periods of sitting down and doing nothing. Uh, you know, you can't have, uh, you can't have nothing to do. Um, and the sun is not treating me kind today. Uh, <clears throat> so, with that being said, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot about phlebotomy um, because a lot of the techs are the ones who access the patient's IVs. Um, they access their pick lines. There are nurses that go to techs for uh, initiating treatment uh, because they're just better at, at sticking people. They're better at, at getting the blood. Um, you're going to draw a lot of labs. You're going to do a bunch of math a ton of math i mean typically the nurse is going to go behind you and double check your math but initially it's going to be that dialysis tech that does all the math figures out all the calculations for everything and you are going to do a tremendous amount of math and uh you know that was i always made sure as a nurse that i did all my math as well because you know at the end of the day i'm the nurse but, you know, it's an unbelievable amount of math that those techs are going to have to do. So, know your math, know your phlebotomy skills, get ready to work hard, get ready to work a lot. There's a lot of work in it. You're going to work really hard at it. Uh, some people love it. Like I said, I did not. I, I did not enjoy being a, uh, being a uh, dialysis nurse. But uh, some people, some people really do love it. It just... It was not for me. Uh, it wasn't a it was not a career for me. Uh, but some people are really good at it, and some people really love it. And if it's something for you, go for it. Uh, like I said, it's it's a fairly well-paying job, especially for something that uh, only needs a certification, and you can get it after at least in North Carolina 18 months. Um, so, and there's plenty of companies hiring right now. Plenty of jobs in it. Uh, I say go after it if you want to. So that's working as a dialysis tech uh, in a nutshell. Hope it helps. Thank you much.